मुझे एक नया शक्ति मिला है इसलिए मैं आज बहुत खुश हूँ मैं एक छोटी सी स्टोरी से शुरू करूंगा एक मारिया को गा रहे हैं झारखंड से अभी उससे मैं सुना वो हम आपको मदद करती है अभी दो हफ्ते पहले उनके पोती की सालगिरह था और चार साल पहले उसका पिताजी मैंने इसका दामाद एक लैंड डिस्प्यूट में लॉस्ट ही वॉज किल सो दिस डिस्ट्रेस गर्ल वॉज इन द हॉस्पिटल एंड हर मदर हर कम टू ग्रीट हर ऑन हर बर्थडे सो वेन द मदर आर आइट शी फाउंड that the hostelers had come together they had raised money bought a cake and they celebrated khushi's birthday this is india how we come together see the christian and this school has christians hindus muslims all in one and in one hostel one school we celebrate festivals each other's birthdays together i think this spirit of love unity and community fraternity this is what we have come to reaffirm and our constitution is based on those values of the human civilization and indian people struggles over centuries to set up a public to achieve those goals friends you have got my prepared speech i will read some parts of it because i am here to really <coughs> listen to all of you and gather more inspiration and courage i don't know if uh, there are people who are older than me probably i'm 81 i don't know how many there may be four five or that but i saw some uh, छत्तीसगढ़ इतिहास हमको डाक डाक रहा है सेफ डेमोक्रेसी सेफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सेफ इंडिया यूनाइट इन स्ट्रगल टू डिफेंड द वैल्यू द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इन इंग्लिश इट इज फ्रीडम इक्वालिटी सॉलिडारिटी यू नो फ्रेटर्निटी इज ओनली ब्रादरहुड इट्स लिटल male centric so uh, we have to find in our own ways uh, you know this sahajiban ubuntu sahajiban living together you are i am because you are we are so interdependent and so paripalana self rule swaraj so swadhinta so, swatantrata samta और समानता संगति एंड स्वराज दीज फोर वैल्यूज इनफैक्ट दे वर दी वैल्यूज विच द स्ट्रगल फॉर स्वराज फोकस एंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फुट दैन इन दियाबल एंड हैव द इंस्टीट्यूशन लेड आउट टू अचीव दोस्ट फ्रेंड्स माई रिक्वेस्ट इज हैव फेथ इन हिस्ट्री we shall win we shall defeat fascism authoritarianism neo colonialism and neo liberalism have faith in people have faith in future this is the lesson from history history is calling upon us to awaken further i think our awakening is not adequate this is a this is an initiative to awaken us further 
in defense of the fundamental values of the freedom struggle, waged by the people of India against colonialism and all forms of injustice and oppression that Indian people suffer from. In this great hall, named after a veteran communist leader and a fighter for democratic rights of workers and peasants, Comrade Harkisan Singh Suche, and we are meeting soon after the International Women's Day, the great day of fighting for equality of gender and of all differentiations. We must respond to the challenge of oppressive forces, forces of autocracy, authoritarianism, neocolonialism and fascism that people of India are confronted with today. History is calling us to face this challenge sincerely and democratically. History is calling upon us, above all, to shed off our personal, sectional and partisan interests and unite, unite to launch a fresh Satyagraha for saving democracy, saving India, saving secularism is part of saving democracy. It is part of saving the premier values of our constitution, equality, freedom, justice, and so on. By this call, people of India to defend the onslaught on the basic values of our constitution from a regime that is determined to impose a sociopolitical system, not just a political regime, a whole sociopolitical system of Hindutva chauvinism on the multicultural, multireligious, multilingual society. Thus, violating the constitutional commitment to equality of all citizens. It is advancing the neoliberal agenda of the corporates that is causing enormous hardships to farmers, workers, and the poor as a whole, and the youth in particular, mm. and Dalits and Adivasis in particular, and women among all these classes in particular. It is unfolding an economic strategy of disturbing <laughs> kind, of distributing various kinds of symbolic relief to different sections of masses without creating substantive, long-term, productive assets and without addressing the question of massive unemployment, increasing inequalities, distress of farmers, workers, small entrepreneurs, and many, many poorer sections of society. But the propaganda machine of the government presents them as pro-poor policies, whereas the reality shows us that the funds have been cut from key welfare sectors such as Manrega, rural development, education, health, so many welfare sectors in reality. All criticism is sought to be suppressed, dissidents harassed, jailed, or silenced in a variety of means, including many false cases. <coughs> Using state investigative agencies such as the CBI, ED, income tax agencies, and NIA, critics, including opposition political parties, academics, NGOs, journalists, research organizations, and many others, they are subjected to much harassment and repression. Surveillance and repression are the order of the day. Much of the media is co-opted or silenced or coerced to propagate the government viewpoint or the ruling party viewpoint. Independent institutions of the state like judiciary, election commission, etc. are mostly subdued or carefully manipulated. The polity and its governance in all spheres is today highly centralized using economic, political, financial, security, and technological means. Not only Indian democracy is facing an unprecedented threat, all the values of the Constitution and its preamble 
are at stake. That's violating the basic principles of the Constitution. So, those who are fully immersed in electoral battles very deeply or ideological and political struggles must realize that the water has gone much deeper, much further and the roots of the Republic are under threat. It's a struggle over values. That's why we insist that it is a struggle over fundamental values which the piano mentions. Hence, history's urgent call to us is to unite and point out the full dimensions of this situation at every level, from villages, towns, and in every part of the country, wherever, in whatever sphere you are working, this is the challenge. Challenge of defending the Constitution and defeating those who oppose the Constitution and violating it. History tells us that all colonial fascist, authoritarian, and oppressive systems are eventually defeated and people finally win freedom and march towards greater equality and justice. Therefore, we must have faith in people. So, Satyagraha for democracy and people's rights shall be victorious. We need the will, the determination to unite and pursue the democratic struggle with full patience, mutual respect and determination. I want to... <coughs> the vision of India, Gandhi, that is under Friends, <laughs> You know very well as representatives of patients and partners, politicians, Dalits, Adivasi movements, political parties, social and political activists, leaders of civil liberty movement, democratic rights groups, movement, poets, writers, lawyers, singers, academics, and many other democratic forces who are assembled here. You know very well how the colonial regime had tried to crush India. Please understand, what does Bharat Bachao here mean? Colonialism had tried to crush India. Expropriated Indian people's wealth. Destroyed their knowledge systems. Divided them on the basis of religion, caste, language, religion and so on. Divided. As a part of its ruling strategy, and calling us the colonized people uncivilized, <coughs> stratifying them even further, calling some of us as primitive, primitive tribes and so on. To fight that challenge, Indian people waged struggles from many fronts to assert the right to equality of nations and peoples. So this is what was our Swaraj struggle all about. <coughs> they launched many movements and these gains of our movements were put in the constitution of this. It's true that many progressives, including Gandhians and Ambedkarites, had points of dissatisfaction with the constitution. That's also true. That they, said they called it a compromise and so on, compromise with ruling forces. But even then, it embodied enough consensus about the kind of society the freedom fighters wanted to build in India. An essence of that are the values in the preamble. That's why in all our meetings in Bharat Pachao, we start our meetings by reaffirming the preamble, those values. A new India thus was born. Today, that India is under threat. Hence, we want we want to save the India that we fought for and achieved, and the India that we envisaged in this constitution. And we read very clearly justice, liberty, equality, fraternity. And each of them has rich meaning. I do not go into that. Now I come to the past decade of neoliberal Hindutva politics. The intensified attack 
is most evident during the past decade. It has continued. About 75 years, people have to not have achieved, but we have many, many areas of vibrancy of our democracy and many achievements. For the past decade of neoliberalism and communal authoritarian rule, both in the pattern of winning elections and in the method of government, has the following strategy. This has to be understood. The scale of its use of institutions of the public to serve the ruler's political interests rather than promoting the values of the constitution is unprecedented. How they are using these institutions. Second, weaving a formidable strategy of long term political domination. They talk about 50 years, 100 years of rule like this. It has gone much beyond our familiar notions of political parties. You know, who's for five years ago? No. They are living a very strong term of political To replace our pluralist democratic world. Third, state power is used to establish structures of domination, expanding all spheres of society, economy, culture, rather than allowing democratic space to operate autonomously through debates, rights, rights and duties, both being performed and so on. No, they want one kind of society and using that strategy. Four, combining domestic and global realms. Now the G20, okay? Global and domestic realms. The regime uses all the forums, domestic and global, to achieve its partisan goals. And finally, making full use of the latest smart technology of communication, surveillance, repression, and legitimation, creating popularity for its ideas. It has organized a large army of technocrats, both in computer rooms as well as on the streets. Even yesterday there was a lynching, okay, uh, in Bihar. And they are trying to promote this strategy in all areas of government and society, both state and society. Therefore, friends, we have to understand this matter. And one key understanding and which that I will end, please understand that doing all this saying that we have come to power, people have voted us with majority and therefore this is people's fear. Sorry. Democracy is not just majority decision. Majority principle is the final decision making practical method in a democracy, after you respect all the values of the constitution, allow autonomous space and functioning of all, all the institutions, and have reasoned discussions, debates, hearing minority, majority, multiple viewpoints. This is why please remember, majority principle is based on the four key values of democracy. Democracy is about equality of all citizens, I would say all human beings, freedom, freedom of expression, etc., etc., in real terms, substantive terms, justice, social, economic, political, etc., not procedural only, substantive. Most of all, reason, please understand, and this is the point. I want this convention to understand. We want history, logic, information, whole body of knowledge of the world and all of us from people's traditions, indigenous people and what the colonized, what the colonial people imposed on us, challenging them. We try to engage in reasoned discussion. Democracy is a forum for reasoned discussion. Listen to all viewpoints. Then see whether you are protecting equality or violating equality. 
protecting freedom or violating freedom, protecting justice or violating justice, through reason. And after all this, then the practical majority principle is there to take some decision by respecting the minority views. Very important, even minority of one. This, so democracy is not majoritarianism. Very important. Democracy is the self-realization of self-rule, self-determination. Uh, in Telugu, you have a wonderful term, Swaraj is so paripalana, Atmanidhaya, whatever, based on equality, freedom, justice, and peace. Therefore, friends, and NEP is a good example, and all policies I can take, I have no time. They present violations of all these four principles equality, freedom, justice, and peace. NEP is just the opposite. It is creating even more inequalities, as if the education system was not of small quality care and causing more inequalities. <coughs> and today, inequalities of wealth, income, power, cultural access, everything is increasing vastly. Therefore, friends, we have a task before us. Let us take up the challenge. Discuss with full respect for each other's viewpoint. I hope this historic initiative will reach each corner of India and with a long-term perspective of reaffirming basic values, not just one or two elections. Long-term perspective of reaffirming the basic values of our constitution as we read in the preamble. We shall succeed in protecting and preserving our constitution and save India. Jai Hind, Jai Bhim, Jai Dharti, Jai Dharti, Jai Jagat, Inkilab Jindabad. Inkilab Jindabad.